today. But I have been on a rampage today. Well, it's not even a whole day. It is still early in the morning. It is still morning time. So good morning, y'all. And so this is, I want y'all to tune in and listen to me closely as I say this to you today, that the value is zero until somebody pays it. I know Joey and I, Joey wish I would just stop because Joey and I was talking this morning and I made this statement. I said, and I and I said, golly, Spicy, you said this before, but this time you really, really said it best. The value is zero until someone pays it. And what do I mean by that when I say that? Value is not value. Something is not worth anything until somebody actually pays it. Like you can say that, you know, your home is worth a million dollars. It's not worth a million until somebody pay it. Zillow can tell you that. Red, whoever can tell you that. The appraiser can tell you whatever they want. But if nobody pays it, that is not the value. And the value is zero. All right. And so I want y'all to get these two things from me. That is the first thing. And the second thing is comfortability. Comfortability, that's comfort, is the enemy to your best self. I'm going to say that again. Comfortability is the enemy to your best self. Yes. Why do I mean by that? Because I'm a product of that. I have been comfortable. I'm comfortable. I'm good, right? And I'm, I'm good on saying, I tell it my husband, look, He's made such a wonderful life for us here. And I get to, you know, be an accountant. I get to be a mom. I get to be whoever I want to be. I get to be my best self, right? Comfortably. Okay. So I'm not really, I wasn't really being my best self, but I was being successful. I have a successful life. I have a blessed life. But I was so comfortable that I was comfortably not my best self, knowing that I can do more, knowing that I could be more, knowing that I could show up more, knowing that I could push myself more. And so I say this to all of my friends out there, do not allow your comfort, meaning, hey, I'm good where I'm at. People, I'm successful where I'm at. I've achieved more than anybody thought that I would achieve where I'm at, right? Don't let that be the enemy for who God has called you to be in your best self. Okay. So I, you know, that brought me, I I got all this brewing inside me today. Right. And then I roll across some good news. Right. I roll across this article and I'm going to show it to y'all. I think, is it behind me? Can I show it behind me? Let me see. How is it showing? Y'all got to tell me how it's showing. It's not showing behind me. Hold on. Let me get it for y'all. Because I did have it to come up in the background. Here it is. Y'all see this article? This article showed up in Good News Today. And this article simply said, hey, how dare. And this is when I first started reading it. The headline, let me see what the headline, let me put the headline back up. The headline says, 64-year-old Will Smith demands nearly eclipsed the American tennis legend Venus Williams' three decades worth of earnings as intriguing details emerge. So I clicked on it, right? And I said, well, what are they talking about? What what are we talking about here today, folk, right? And so the article, article said that Will Smith made $42 million. He demanded. He didn't demand. He just asked for his value. He asked for $42 million to be the star of the movie. And the budget for the movie was $50 million, which means that most of the budget um, really went into Will Smith's, um, you know, request for him to do the movie. I don't know how much that movie made. Uh, We'll find out. I could probably add that in later. But I'm sure that that movie, with all the awards and everything that it got, tripled $40 million, right? And Venus, even though she made 
42 million in her whole career working just her, just her by herself for making $40 million. But when she brought other people in and she brought the right who, which I'm really on this who not how thing. She brought in the right who, which is was Will Smith to make this movie because he brought in marketing. He, he he attracted more eyes to see it versus if she had paid $2 million or, or a couple of hundred thousand for a new actor to do the movie who was just willing, who was riding off her coattail. She saw the value. And see, this is what the article said. I don't think that the, the, the Williams sisters or their team saw Will Smith's request, not demand, his request for $40 million to star as her father in King Richard. I don't believe that they saw that as a, um, as, as, as a, as a gross amount to ask. Because guess what? They paid it. Because they knew that that $40 million investment in that one actor and his request to make him happy, to, to meet him where he valued himself. So he showed up as his best self in that movie for King Richard. He was the best King Richard. He even got awards on it. But I bet y'all, and I haven't looked at the movie um, results and the revenues that came in from that movie, but I bet that it was triple $40 million, which is $120 million. So what are you valuing yourself at? What can you bring to another business? What do you bring to your customers? What do you bring to your clients? What is your real value? What are people paying for you to help them reach the results? I usually teach my, my clients a lot, a lot, a lot. I tell them, I say, you know what? I pay for myself. We have a plan where we, you know, do a quick catch up for uh, for small business owners. And it's from five thousand to seventy five hundred dollars. And a lot of that's more than a lot of small business owners have paid, period, for accounting because they've been doing it themselves. But when they hire us and their accounting is in order, their back office is in order, they are they IRS tax proof. They save their money. They're not overpaying people. They're not wasting money and they have a system that helps them build wealth that's worth more than five thousand if i tell you hey you're gonna pay me five thousand and i'm gonna help you save twenty thousand i'm gonna save twenty thousand are you gonna make twenty thousand off that people pay that all the time so the 40 million dollars that will smith requested and i demanded because see this article here see how messy people i'm gonna bring you up one more time for some of the people who just showing up. $40 million. Will Smith, they're saying, asked, demanded $40 million. He requested $40 million because that was the value. His value, he knew his value wasn't zero, but he confirmed that his value was $40 million because first, someone paid it. And second, he delivered on movie earnings, movie revenue that doubled their $40 million investment in him. I know somebody needed to hear that today because God really put it on my heart to lean in and tell y'all this. And then this article just showed up and I wrote these notes on a piece of paper. And I said, you know what? Sometimes we feel like we're making $100,000 and that's enough. Or we've made a million dollars in our career and that's enough. And that's more than our parents made. That's more than our grandparents made. That's more than our ancestors made. And guess what? It might be have been their best, but it is not your best. Do not allow comfortability to be the enemy to your best. Go out today, y'all, and be your best because I darn no show, no show. I say darn no show <laughs> for sure. I will be doing that today, and that is the path that I am on so that not only I'm my best, but I want this city to be its best. I want my friends to be their best. I want my kids to be their best. And guess what? The cuties y'all had their first day of first grade um, and second grade today. And yes, and amen in Jesus, they're at a great new school, and we love it, okay? And Because I want them to be like eagles and fly. I want you to be the best. The bird, the, 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 of the birds, the eagles fly the highest. I want that to be you. 
Don't be comfortable walking on the ground when God has given you wings, wings like eagles so that you can fly higher, higher than any other bird. So guys, today, go and be great. Be your greatest self and fly as high as God has blessed you to fly. Y'all have an amazing day. I love you. Until next Friday. Bye, y'all.